Now, from the Bay Area's local news station, you're watching Cron 4 News at 6. He's a you know, remarkable man for not just what he did, but how he made people feel. Now at 6, Norm Mineta, the first Japanese-American mayor of a major American city and first Asian-American to hold a U.S. cabinet position, is being remembered in his hometown. Mineta, a San Jose native and former mayor of that city, died back on May the 3rd at age 90. Thank you for joining us for Crown 4 News at 6. I'm Pam Moore. And I'm Ken Wayne. Mineta's ashes were taken in a motorcade from the San Jose airport that bears his name to City Hall, where his remains are lying in honor in the rotunda before the public memorial service tomorrow morning. Crown Force Rob Nesbitt talked with current mayor Sam Licardo and others who knew the politician well. He has more on how Mineta has been honored and remembered. In his 90 years, Norman Mineta accomplished a lot here in San Jose and in Washington, D.C. It's how he made people feel that he'll be remembered for most. Norman Mineta's ashes arrived at the airport that bears his name Wednesday morning before they were carried through San Jose where he served as mayor from 1971 to 1975. Norman Y. Mineta will always be our friend. Rod Diradon spoke at San Jose City Hall about Mineta's many accomplishments locally but says it's a long list that doesn't come close to what he'll remember most about his friend of 55 years. His near sincere friendship, his sincere concern about how I felt. Mineta was a member of the U.S. House of Representatives and was a cabinet member under President Bill Clinton and President George W. Bush. San Jose Mayor Sam Licardo was an intern for Mineta in Washington, D.C. when he was 18 years old. The man never forgot anyone's name. Uh, and he had such a deep connection to the people he served. It was very important to him that he know everyone, and everybody had a story. There were a lot of firsts highlighted Wednesday. Mineta was the first Asian-American mayor of a major U.S. city and the first Asian-American cabinet member. Just incredible in, in, in breaking barriers, not for himself, but for so many others who could then follow. We have declared tomorrow to be Norman Y. Mineta Day in the city of San Jose. A legacy in the Bay Area and country that Reverend Gerald Sakamoto says everyone can learn from and be inspired by. It was really reach out, and he did that. He reached across the aisles in many issues, so he worked towards trying to find common ground and collaboration, working together for everybody's uh, welfare. A public memorial service will be held for Mineta tomorrow at the Bill Graham Civic Auditorium at 10.30 a.m. Several prominent figures are scheduled to attend, including former President Bill Clinton. In San Jose, I'm Rob Nesbitt, Cron 4 News.